Water is turning a northwest suburban couple's dream home into a disaster, and the worst could still be ahead. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live outside their home in Fox River Grove. Hi, Eric. Good morning, Aaron. The Fox River is still rising this morning. As a matter of fact, the rainfall from Sunday hasn't even made it to this area yet, so the next 48 hours are crucial for the family that live in this home directly behind me. I'm told that an expected four more inches are expected to come this way. Now take a look at this video. Eddie Claudio and Kristen Pruder spent Monday setting up sandbags around their soaked property. The couple and their two kids just moved into what they thought was their dream home back in October. But after Sunday's rainfall, their backyard looks more like a babbling brook. The waters already flooded their basement and they do have flood insurance, but the deductible is $5,000 and it only covers structural damage, not items lost. The family says FEMA did come out, but they were told they can't be helped until the damage is already done. Just trying to make the best of it. I mean, trying to save as much as we, as we can of the house. Hopefully it doesn't get to the first floor. Um, it's just a lot of time and effort. I mean, we're just doing whatever we can at this point. And as they try protecting their first floor from flood water, the couple says they're also contacting real estate lawyers in hopes of getting some help. I'm Eric Cox reporting live in Fox River Grove this morning, CBS 2 News.